When AMD launched the Radeon RX 9070 XT, it was positioned as a direct rival to NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 5070, but as we all know in the world of GPUs, marketing intentions rarely reflect real-world pricing and performance. And in our initial testing, we didn't even match it against the RTX 5070. Instead, we went head-to-head -head with a more powerful 5070T, and yes, some were upset by that, but we had a reason. At launch, AMD's car was priced closer to the T, and we were curious to see how it held up under pressure. The result? The Radeon came in just 5% slower in raw performance, but it was about 17% cheaper when you looked at actual retail prices. Not just MSRP. But now the time has come for the true showdown you've been waiting for. The RX 9070 XT versus the RTX 5070. And things have changed a lot since our last round of tests, with 57 games now benchmarked to both 1440p and 4K resolutions, plus updated drivers from both AMD and NVIDIA tweaking performance across the board. One of the biggest surprises isn't the frame rates, it's the pricing. The RTX 5070 is finally settling near its MSRP, currently hovering around $610 while the 5070T is floating at about $825. But the Radeon 9070 XT? It's gone the opposite direction. Now selling for a whopping $860 in the US. That's 41% more than the RTX 5070 and even more expensive than the faster 5070T. That's a major twist and it doesn't end there because globally, the price gap resists in Germany, the 9070 XT is 745 euros, 11% cheaper than the 5070T, but 26% more expensive than the 5070. In Canada, it costs 1,100 Canadian dollars, making it 12% cheaper than the T, but 34% more than the 5070. And in Australia, where local MSRP is being met, the Radeon GPU costs 1,300 Australian dollars, 14% cheaper than the T, but still 18% more expensive than the RTX 5070. That means across the board, the RX 9070 XT costs 41% more than the 5070 in the US, 34% more in Canada, 26% more in Germany, and 18% more in Australia, even though it performs worse than the T and only slightly better than the 5070. So what kind of performance are we talking about now with the latest drivers? Let's start with Call of Duty, Black Ops 6, one of the standout titles from our benchmark suite, where the 9070 XT saw a 14% uplift at 1440p and 9% at 4K since our last test, putting ahead of both the RTX 5070 and the T in this specific game, showing a massive 68% lead at 1440p and 70% at 4K compared to the standard 5070. That's impressive, but it's just one game. Across all 57 games, performance margins were far less dramatic, with the RX 9070 XT holding only a modest lead on average over the 5070, while still falling behind the 5070T, which makes the price premium even harder to justify. Let's also not forget the broader context. The RX 9070 XT is a solid GPU with strong performance potential, but it's lacking in feature support compared to NVIDIA's lineup. Things like DLSS 3.5 and better ray tracing acceleration still give NVIDIA the edge in future-proofing and software ecosystem. And while AMD fans can appreciate the raw horsepower and driver improvements, value still matters. And based on today's market, the RX 9070 XT is simply overpriced for what it delivers, especially when the RTX 5070 offers better value and the T offers better performance at lower cost. Of course... Your mileage may vary depending on local pricing and game preferences, and we always recommend checking actual performance in the games you care about, but as it stands now, the RX 9070 XT has a lot to prove, and unless prices come down, it's going to be a tough sell. But don't worry, we'll continue tracking all the price shifts, driver updates, and real-world benchmarks you need to make the smartest GPU buying decisions. So if you want more in-depth analysis like this, covering all the latest tech battles with raw honesty and clear results. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned right here on Techverse.